Uh, welcome back to the second part of uh, today's convention. And I'm proud to present the next speaker, which is Ryan. So, yeah, no clapping for you. Thank you. So during this presentation, I'm going to be talking about self-development for freelancers. I've chosen to talk about freelance because I feel that there's a huge part of it which is all about mental gain. So during this project, I'm going to talk about a client project that I worked on last year, which is Project Neon. It was all about just combining these ideas from researching new technology, looking to other disciplines, personal memories, using nature, and I managed to create architecture designs that not only absorbed carbon from the atmosphere, they used very little electricity to cool, they dealt with the heat of the desert, and they had all the amenities for the residents within a short walking distance. In my personal life, and all the deliberate practice literature that I've read, you start by getting the best information, teacher, school, that you can possibly find. It's not about how many hours you put in, it's how many quality, correct repetitions you can do for the time that you have. But to give you all a more specific uh, problem that I came up against, I had a long contract working on a VR training simulator for engineers to learn how diesel generators worked. Changes and updates to the Oculus Mixed Reality Toolkit, the core functionality and physics of the VR control system and interactivity were coming out weekly while I was on this project. The team lead often spent hours researching what these updates were and ended up saving the team countless hours of work. Very often as well, these improvements will actually not come from within. Sometimes it doesn't matter how many questions you ask yourself, the improvements will come from outside. So looking outside, researching, exploring and testing different things will give you those improvements and those leaps uh, that you need. Sometimes actually reflecting too much can be uh, a closed loop. So coming out of that, looking at others, getting advice, whatever, exploring, traveling, like I mentioned before, it'll give you a perspective and that'll allow you to make that leap. 